Welcome to Architecture Corner, and this is a new episode in Malmö. Oskar Berg, yeah. first of all, I want to thank you for getting me involved in blogging nearly 10 years ago. I'm sorry. You have written two books and the latest one is about digital workplace. Can you tell us about it? I've been working a lot uh, the last like uh, few years uh, with with helping organizations uh, get the digital work environment uh, together and, and reduce the complexity and increase the, the uh, uh, ease of use in the digital work environment. And this is actually a book uh, which presents a methodology for how to do that, and I've written it with my uh, with a co-author Henrik Gustafsson, uh, and it presents this methodology and how organizations can uh, create, design a digital workplace uh, from the user's point of view, uh, and taking into account the different uh, uh, aspects of of the uh, of the user's work environment. If you look at the digital workplace today, yeah. you sit at the desk. You have a laptop and you have an office application. Mm. Is that the digital workplace for you? It's not a modern uh, digital workplace to me. Uh, a digital workplace must allow you to, to work uh, seamlessly in whatever situation you might find yourself in uh, and enable collaboration uh, and ways to, to, to work together uh, with other people. And that might happen wherever you are. In whatever situation you might find yourself in. So, so the, the, the kind of environment that you are referring to is very much the 90s. So in your book you describe how you should do instead. In our book we explain why you need to, to do it in another way and also how you should do it. So it, it provides a practical uh, approach and methodology for, for organizations to, to work with the digital work environment in a different way, to develop it with more user focus and with the bigger picture from the user's point of view. So what is the challenge that we have today that we need to change the way we are working? The main challenge we have is that we need to have work more together. Uh, we need to work seamlessly from whatever situation we might find ourselves in. Uh, and that's not really supported in, uh, by most digital uh, work environments. Uh, also, they are not very uh, user-friendly and, and, and uh, relevant. Uh, is it a huge difference between how we worked in the office in the old days uh, compared to today when we have more interaction with the customers and they want to do part of our processes? I, I think uh, uh, the difference is uh, huge compared to how we used to work because we have much more interactions, not only with uh, colleagues, but customers. And we also need to work in a more digital way, meaning that we don't just use computers to write information and share it, uh, share it with other, other people. We need to create things together uh, uh, in the digital uh, world, so to say. So that's much more challenging uh, than, uh, and different to how we used to work with computers uh, a, number year, uh, a number of years ago. But I have used email for nearly 30 years. Yes, and you will probably still use email, but for less and less uh, use cases. Uh, because email is, isn't really good at, uh, for collaboration and interaction between uh, many people. Uh, so it's, it's a very much linear way of communicating. You might still use it for customers, but internally and when you're creating things with, with uh, different stakeholders, Email is not the thing, uh, not the tool you should use. There are other alternatives that are better suited for collaboration. Email is often a centralized solution. Uh, today we're talking about agile workplaces and we should have more user decisions. Is mm. that something also is relevant in your opinion? Well, it's, it's definitely relevant that you have, I need to take more decisions on the floor, so to speak, uh, uh, because the, the, the business environment is, is changing so rapidly, you need to take decisions on the floor. And, and to be able to do that, you need to have 
uh, be able to interact with other people and, and access information uh, much more easily. Uh, and you can't rely on this kind of linear ways of communicating, chain of command uh, 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 kind of work, work environment that we have. The digital workplace is much more about collaboration because uh, the, the times that we're living in now require much more collaboration uh, from uh, organizations and the people, uh, the employees, and working with customers and partners and, uh, and other stakeholders. Uh, and, uh, and as we see, that's the only way to keep pace with changing business environment. We have different ways of working depending on where on the planet we are. Will this have an impact on the digital work? It has an impact uh, in the sense that they, you have different challenges uh, depending on, on the kind of culture. Like uh, that is different very much depending on cult uh, like nationality and uh, wh what part of the world uh, you're located in. Uh, so so uh, and it's very complex for organizations that that are international or global to get that like kind of the common work practices because not every like say in Japan, they're much more uh, for, used to following a certain way of working and, and not questioning. While in Sweden, for example, we're questioning much more and doing it our own way. So we're not actually working in the same way. Uh, and, and getting those like different cultures together, it, it's, it's uh, of course a challenge. What about uh, technology? Because when you talk about digital workplace, everybody speaks about technology and mm. doesn't think about the other parameters. I think it's very easy to focus on technology because it's tangible in a way. And, and, and uh, the other things are more abstract and challenging, like changing uh, ways of working. You need to understand, like you need to see how, 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 how uh, that could look like. And, uh, changing culture that's very abstract uh, and also something that people want to sort of push away from themselves. Uh, it's much easier to focus on technology, a button here or a button there or this feature and that feature, uh, instead of talking about how, how you need to, we need to change attitudes and behaviors uh, and how we communicate with each other. What are the three main advices you will give to someone who will change their digital workplace today? First of all, um, I like the, the golden circle uh, by Simon Sinek, but like the reasoning that you understand why you need to change it. You need to start with that, uh, of course, uh, and also the how uh, after that. Uh, so, so it's not so important to, to what kind of functionalities, technologies that are using, but actually the most important thing is to understand uh, how you can change this, uh, how you need to work to change it. So, so, so like if those are the two first ones, like understand the why and the how, the last one would be to, to, to uh, actually about the how, that you need to get involvement from in people. You need to bring people together and in, in, get involved in this process and understand that IT and, and development of new practices or ways of working, you can't separate the two. Uh, and you need, to, you, you need to get people involved in this process. Yeah, so you do it as a classic waterfall project, you write a requirement specification and then we implement it. You don't do it the typical waterfall way. Instead, you, you work together, you make sure to develop ways of working and the technology together in an iterative manner, uh, co-creating with different uh, competencies and stakeholders. So not this typical like requirements, design, implementation, deployment, and then start you know, like uh, launching it and introducing it to users. They need to be involved from the start and we need to have all the competencies working together from the start. How important is it to start with a small office or should you take it the whole company? It depends really on, on, on the like uh, a lot of things where you start. Uh, for example, uh, it, it, the culture can make it hard to, to start like for, with a whole company. Uh, or, or there might be a sort of, sort of not, not leadership buy-in that you, where you so instead you prefer to work with a smaller group of uh, people and a smaller number of use cases. Uh, but to get the real effects 
of this, you, you really should start with the like, number of uh, use cases for an entire organization. Um, that, that, that's what I would recommend, if it's possible. What about the physical meetings? We're talking about digital. Yeah. Is physical still important? You, you mm -hmm. cannot really compete with physical meetings, at least not yet. Uh, so so w what we need to have is to have physical meetings when they are really important and make sure that we use uh, digital meetings for those things that we can sort of uh, do without physical meetings. So I think it's more of uh, like using our resources and, and using physical meetings for the right things. It's not about removing them altogether. Uh, it, it's, it's about not overusing it when we have this technology uh, that allows us to, to meet uh, digitally. Couldn't we d done it 10 years ago? What's the difference? 10 years ago, what we didn't have is uh, widespread like deployment or, or access to, to mobile phones, uh, to the cloud, like to, to this kind of social collaboration tools that we have today. Not really many had, had access to those kind of devices back then. So uh, it's definitely technology plays an important part. When you're talking to uh, the top level management in a company, how do you sell in this? It, there's a, a, a clear connection between the digital workplace and digital ways of working with the sort of external pressure that most companies and organizations are uh, facing uh, in the terms of increasing uh, expectations and new behaviors uh, uh, from customers uh, to, to, to serve them, meet them digitally. And, and you really need to get digitalization to work internally. And the digital workplace uh, and working digitally is very important uh, uh, from that aspect. We're talking about the collaboration tools and document management, etc., that we have in the company that everybody uses. But the, the, the main challenge is to, to get to like this freeform collaboration together uh, on top of those processes. Uh, when the people need to collaborate and solve problems and develop uh, new products and so forth. That is not very, sorry, that is very chaotic in a sense. Uh, and we need support that in a, in a better way. You have to change the way you're working, change how you do products much faster. The whole, the whole speed of uh, the business environment, like how you, you need to satisfy customers faster. Of course, that you need to have less silos, much more cross collaboration, uh, much more speed in, in how you do, like how you develop and innovate your products or services than you used to have. Digital workplace is essential for not losing. The digital, you, you need to have a digital workplace that's much more important than a physical workplace today if you uh, want to have an organization working together to, to, to satisfy user needs uh, or customer needs uh, and, uh, and deliver great products or services or whatever you're offering to the market. Thank you very much, Oscar, for our interesting talk about the digital workplace. Thank you, Christian. Uh, where can we find you? You can find me in Malmö, you can find me uh, uh, on the web, uh, on, on my website, oskarberg.net. And uh, please feel free to contact me on uh, Twitter. And my Twitter handle is uh, oskarberg. Uh, so. Thank you, and it was really nice to see you after a very long time.